During the winter months, we know it's especially important to boost your immune system. So Chef Paul's got a delicious red curry recipe that does just that in today's Daily Dish. Here is what you need to follow along. Red curry paste, coconut milk, spinach, onions and veggies, rice vinegar, fish sauce, and shrimp, which sounds delicious. A curry on a cold winter day is such a great idea. Paul, where do we start? Yeah, you know, it, it is cold and flu season, but it's also comfort food season. And I feel like this recipe hits on both of those things. It, you know, it's like a warm hug in a bowl, but it includes lots of ingredients that are immune supporting. So it all starts with a curry paste. And this is a curry paste that I've purchased from the store. You can find it in red or green varieties or yellow for that matter, but I love a red curry paste. And um, you just want to bloom it or toast it, not unlike when you're, making a, when you're making a dry spice curry, just to get those essential oils going. And so I have a little bit of hot canola oil here in the pan, and I'm just going to toast them. So I noticed you put the curry paste in like right off the bat. Is that so that you get the most flavor out of it? That's right. Not unlike when you're making a curry with dry spices. These are raw ingredients, and you just want to hit them with that hot oil to get them to release their essential oils. And you can smell it right away. The next step is to just add our other ingredients. So we're going in with three cans of full-fat coconut milk. And just give that a little stir. You can see the color change right away. And now our immune-boosting ingredients. So we've got some red onion. A whole red onion cut into wedges. I love that like that. Some red bell pepper, just cut into chunks. It's a very rustic dish. And a lot of carrots. So carrots very rich in vitamin C and vitamin A. And that's going right in. Some green onion, a whole bunch that I just sliced up. And now a few other flavorings. So a little bit of rice wine vinegar just for acidity and some fish sauce. You don't need a lot of this, but this is a traditional ingredient. If you've never cooked with it before, maybe start with a very small amount, uh, but I'm adding two teaspoons and some sea salt. So three quarters of a teaspoon. And that, now all we wanna do is bring this to a simmer and cover it and leave it for one hour to just do its magic. Cook and soften those vegetables and then after an hour, you end up with this very rich, beautiful broth. The carrots have softened. And now all we have to do is add our other ingredients. So I love, again, this is for immune boosting qualities. And I just love sort of sort of wilting baby spinach into recipes. So, you know, I'm adding four cups of it. It really just disappears into it, as you can see. And some tiger shrimp. And these just get poached in the broth. I've already added those because you want to let those cook for maybe five, six minutes. And then you can serve this over some steamed rice, just like so. Or you can even just eat it. Sometimes I like to eat this like a soup. I just skip the rice all together. And I'm telling you, this is a really luxurious winter dish. And it's comfort food, but you're also looking after your own health.